Hello. Hey Jennifer, nice to see you my darling. I was thinking of you this morning. How are you? How are things? Hello everyone. Hello. Hi Steph. I'm seeing some familiar names popping up. David, welcome. Hello everybody. How are you today, this wonderful Friday? Good morning. Going great. Fantastic. Good, good, good. Hey, welcome. Me and my little ones watching. Wonderful. Great. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> well, I don't know if you all got Joel, but he was on really early today because he's off playing golf. So um, hence why he wasn't on at two. So you might want to watch the replay of his Agony Uncle Day as Friday is always Agony Uncle for Joel. So welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, I just wanted to talk a little about the sensuality of the seasons. And I put up this um, a post this morning um, on Instagram, Silent Moon Imaginarium and on Facebook. I don't know if any of you read it, but here it is the lovely picture that my daughter took she's actually 12 and I thought it was pretty impressive to be honest in the hotel room in Italy <laughs> which I thought was really cute and uh, I wanted to use it and it's always nice to give a little bit of credit to your children for doing some amazing creative work so if I resonate with you my name is Indra silent-moon.co.uk is me and I work with the nature kingdom the moon cycles the light of the moon to create wonderful flower essences and magical, magical healing products. So if anybody cares to share, write out my website, just do what you will to uh, promote me. And also I have a donate button at the bottom of my homepage on my uh, website for anybody who cares to believe that my scopes are worthy of a little bit of donation as I tend to give quite a bit of information on my scopes and share, 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 share. So there you go, that's the, that, that's the heavy stuff. How is everybody today? Welcome for coming back in. I don't know if the reception's okay, but I'm seeing names coming back and forward. So yesterday, I'll turn this around and I'll turn it back around because I always feel um, a bit funny when I'm pointing the camera. Hello! I, hello Dave, how are you doing? I always feel a bit funny when I'm at my... Um, at my oh look, hair's sticking out, the sunglasses on. Um, I always feel funny pointing the camera constantly at my computer um, when I'm actually talking, so we'll go back to that in a minute. Yesterday I, I promoted the Greenwoods laugh. I don't know, peachy! <laughs> Good. And her wonderful artwork. Hi, Shannon. And I just want to sort of recap on those of you that missed yesterday's scope because morning, because this wonderful, wonder, wonderful talisman that she created me and sent me as a gift um, that really promotes the seasons. And all of you know that that follow me regularly. I'm big lover of the seasons, and I work with the seasons through my through my day job at Silent Moon. Um, it's fab, and isn't it just absolutely stunning? And she did actually say to me, she's not on Periscope, but I. I I did it because I just, I knew she wasn't. I just love her so much. And she's on Instagram as the Greenwoods Laugh. And um, she's an illustrator and a beautiful artist. And I thought, why not just connect today's scope alongside this? I really don't get, you don't get the justice, what this is all about. You can't really see and justify everything that's on this when it's on a screen. It's just absolutely stunning. There is so much in this beautiful beautiful piece of art that it's just it needs bigging up so for those of you that didn't see it yesterday it's it's a beautiful piece with the goddess um and it talks about all the moon cycles or it the pictures are all about the moon cycles and also about all the seasons and what they are all about isn't it just gorgeous so you've got obviously spring summer autumn winter all hanging around outside of our king of the forest the green man who i've spoken about before um, and I just remind me, Jennifer, I've got to get into doing a scope on the genies and the gins, which I will do, but I always have to feel the energy's right to do it. So it will come, and I know I've promised it, so it will be there. Good afternoon, sunshine. Good afternoon to you, my darling. So there it is, um, her wonderful, wonderful piece of artwork. So I'll go back to um, Facebook. Let me put my password in. Um, go back to Facebook and show you what I did today with my lovely picture from my... I didn't get the comments then, so I might have missed something um, from my daughter that she created, that she took on when we were on holiday. And I just, I'm a, I'm a very creative writer. I love to write. So I don't tend to think about it when I write. And I always advise people to do the same. If you're writing, really just write from your heart rather than really thinking about what it is that you need to write. And I always advise that people who love to write but think too much not to think too much but just to get a pen and a piece of paper or a computer and just go with what's in your heart be authentic and just write and you will find that some wonderful mess comes out of you and it's always just beautiful hi sherry so um 
it's it's always just a, it's, it's nice to just really produce what's there at that moment in time oh my i love you oh thank you morning sherry how are you doing my darling hello okay so i'm just going to read to you what, what i put on facebook today that is really connected to kate's lovely talisman that she created for me smile she said for today is another day we can dress in our party clothes and we can dance our way through we can feel every inch of this body and luxuriate in its senses smell the last month of summer see the clearness of the sapphire blues in the skies taste and embrace the final juicy fruits of this season of the season here hear your calling touch what is let your dreams lift your higher lift you higher if you care to go so that's what i wrote this morning just out of my heart straight after yoga practice and i really wanted to share with that with you because it is remember it is the last thank you thank you kelly it is the last month we didn't tend to forget that. It is the last month of summer, can you? So it's a really, really simple thing to say. It's just get out there and really use your senses because you've got another year before you'll feel this again. And I know in the UK, um, we haven't had such a crazy summer, but um, I kind of miss, I miss having um, seasons. And I always think as a child, I always remember things being very, very seasonal. Winter was winter and summer was summer. And, and since global warming and everything, it's changed a lot. It's been too hot here to be outside. Wow, gosh. It's been a great week for weather this week. Um, we went for walks in the woods, wonderful. And I haven't been in the woods since I got back from Italy. So I really, really must get back in the woods because that's my place and I haven't really connected to ground so I need to get back into the woods but we tend to just um no I'm not so we tend to um hey Laura thank you for inviting by the way we tend to just go through life go through the months and just go okay another month oh where's the summer where is it but just remember that what we have at this moment in time is the last month of summer so all I'm saying to you is just really embrace it with your senses go out there look at the sky the blue sky before it starts to turn a wonderful gray and go into the crone stage which is always fantastic hairwood would oh hairwood's great yeah it's wonderful we take off we take off on a on a Harley in one week oh my goodness oh Sherry we're, I'm gonna miss you but that is going to be beautiful how long are you going for how long are you going for thank you i'll accept the compliment how long are you going away for because that would be really it'd be a, one week okay so i'm just thinking i'm also thinking about your your essence because i'll be sending it out there soon um so really really embracing you know the connect with the smell of the season because the smell of the season all the seasons smell very different go out there and breathe the air because even in the uk right now I can feel every morning now autumn is in the air and you can feel that coolness. Hi, Melcher, um, that's sort of hanging around us like a, like a cool morning blanket. Um, I know it does sound amazing. Good morning or afternoon. And then autumn comes and we start to sort of see the massive colours change. It's my favourite season. I'm an autumn baby. I was born in autumn. So I love to see that dr dramatic change of seasons. How's the weather over there? At this moment, Mike, it's... Probably, I would say, about 20 degrees, um, which is roughly in the early 70s, maybe late 60s Fahrenheit, if you're a Fahrenheit person. So not that hot, but it's okay. It's better than um, it being too cold at this time of year. But we've had a very temperamental summer in the UK, which we often do have. We never have constant heat, which is often quite hard for the body. Um, okay, you can, if you want to think that, you can. So then it comes to the winter time and we're all embracing that real coldness and um, in England winters are very damp so that often can get into your bones and make you feel quite miserable and quite groggy. Um, I always uh, am jealous of the people. I heard, heard it's always raining. <laughs> not always. Not always. That is why it's so green but it, not always but it does rain a lot. Um, winters here are very damp so um, it does tend to get into your bones and if you suffer from things like arthritis and um, anything to do with the bones it is quite a hard place to live the UK and weirdly as I get older I kind of feel it a lot, a lot more we do feel it a lot more as we get older the dampness 
Um, Christmas shopping, everyone. And oh God, <laughs> I like that, Melcher. Thank you for that. Um, kind of sharing that energy, but that's good. I love Christmas. So, and then of course we move into, um, from winter, then we go into spring and then we start to see the buds. But I, the real reason for this scope today was to just really say to you, just really embrace the last month because so many people, uh, hi, Kalia. Thank you, my darling. Um, the last uh, month of the season, I always think, I, I just, like I say, we, we just fall into this place of taking everything for granted. And it's just as a reminder to sort of say, hey, we've got one month left officially, that's officially, of being in the summertime. So just go outside, use your senses and really, really embrace it. Smell it, taste it, because remember, if you eat seasonally, you really don't get those fruits again um, until next year. Thank you for inviting as well, Collier. So, um, Joel was on early today. For those of you that missed him, he's now playing, just spoke to him. He's now gone off to play golf somewhere um, with his mate. So you need to check out his, uh, his, his scope, his agony ankle scope. I need to watch it because I wasn't on. I'm in sandals till Thanksgiving. Wow, God, that's, that's good. Good morning. I'm good, thank you. Your accent. Time to stock up at silent, <laughs> silent PR break. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, actually, I've got a number of orders to get out to so many people. Um, and I'm really sort of embracing this week. Uh, this weekend this weekend in the UK is what we call bank holiday weekend. So this weekend is a holiday. Uh, Monday is a holiday. We call it bank holiday. It's just the last weekend in August where everybody has um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. So that's this weekend. Uh, so... I love Harrogate, do you? Oh, wonderful. Good. Good afternoon, Christine. Late today. Thank you for inviting in my favourite colour. So there you go. So just taking post from this morning on Instagram and on Facebook, just to really get you to embrace what's going on in, in this space, on this earth, wherever you are, whatever weather that you're in, certainly where we are, most of us are, in the Northern Hemisphere, where we are in summer right now. And for those of you that aren't, then obviously it's, um, it's winter, so you'll be coming into summer soon. Um, must order some. Oh, I've got, I've, I've, I've got some seven orders to get out ASAP to these wonderful people, but I know, I know they're very, very patient with me. Um, very, very patient. <laughs> Happy Friday to you too. So I will be scoping tomorrow, but I'm not going to scope on Sunday because I'm going to go and see my wonderful mummy. If you, if your BF told he, right, okay, I'm thinking that's probably um, something to block. So there you go. So get outside, step outside and have a wonderful time embracing the last month of this. You're ordering this weekend. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, great, great, great. I'm going to have numerous orders. I am going to actually start writing um, for these seven lovely ladies that are connecting with me. Um, and we have got a Skype call coming up after this essence that we're going to take from Italy. I can't wait to share um, with all your loveliness. Remember that on the 1st of September, which is, can you believe it or not, next week, um, there is another, um, there is a new moon and there was also an eclipse next week. So it's, it's in a crazy, crazy, crazy time at the moment for eclipses. What's with all these for, I, I don't know. It's kind of strange. I've thought that too. Are you getting it? <laughs> or is it just me? <laughs> Good trip to your mom's. Absolutely, yeah. My mom lives an hour away, and I haven't seen her for for long. But it's it's it for two uh, for quite a long time. So I need to get up and see her. It is. It's so weird. I know. You just have to ignore it. Just let it go. Not just you. Oh, good. It's not just me. It's not, it just must be a foot fetish person coming out and uh, attacking Periscope. Okay, everybody. That's enough from me today. Have a wonderful Friday, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget also, if you missed Joel, that he did his scope earlier, his agony uncle Joel. Um, and do, do have a watch of that. I'm going to watch it now because I missed it. So have a wonderful day. Lots and lots of love. Go and embrace the last month of summer and make the most of the yumminess that it is. Love, love, love.